Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Ronan Ghosh from RG Recycling Group. I'm along with my colleague here, my partner Christoph Bayer from Binder and Co in Austria. And uh, I would like to thank UKTI, I2I, and RWM for this invitation to present uh, a few key topics, uh, mainly to do with LOI, uh, what solutions we have, what support channels we have, uh, and our distribution network uh, available globally. LOI. Um, what is LOI? LOI is an ignition test for our industry. A loss on ignition test will be carried out in landfill waste to determine the correct tax liability and fines. This is a very contentious issue, as some of you may be aware, um, mainly with uh, transfer stations, landfill operators, um, all different people uh, disposing of material uh, have now have to meet a threshold with a tax liability on disposal of their fines. Pre predominantly, a lot of people were processing material, uh, mainly trommeling uh, at approximately 40 mil. Um, this material now uh, warrants, warrants a tax if it is not processed uh, accordingly. So, um, at the moment, the LOI threshold is 15%, um, and that's going to change to 10% in April next year. Uh, if you do not meet this threshold, um, you will warrant an 80 pounds per tonne landfill tax disposal rate. If you do meet the rate, uh, this will reduce to 2 pounds 50. So therefore, 77 pounds 50 per tonne uh, saving. So just as an example, uh, an operator producing 40 tons per day of trommel fines would have, up until 2014, would have been paying 25,000 pounds per year disposal cost. If he did not meet the legislation, he would have to pay 800,000 pounds. So you can understand this is a significant, significant cost which is difficult for any operator to pass on to a client. As I mentioned to you, um, most, most operators uh, would have been using conventional screening methods. Uh, as I say, using trommel screening at normally around 40 millimeters uh, and then uh, trying to re recover as much aggregate or minerals before disposing of their uh, fines. I would now um, like to, I will give, uh, we'll have a, I should have mentioned, we can have a question and answer session at the end if that's okay. Moving on to um, our, our so solution. Moving on to our solution. Um, we have a, a very specialist Bivitec screen um, and we are very proud to be the market leader um, with a screen that is referred to as the number one in the market for being able to process difficult to screen material. So what does that mean? Any material that you will not be able to screen over a conventional um, incline screen is where the Bivitec comes in. So whether it be moist, sticky, wet, clay bound, uh, really any difficult material is where the Bivitec screen comes into play. The functional principle behind the screen. 
we have a, just to give you an idea, most normal screens, uh, no matter who you would purchase them from, work at approximately three to four Gs. Our screen um, operates at 50 Gs. So this is a huge uh, difference. You can uh, appreciate the aggression involved in the screening mechanism. What are the key benefits of our solution in relation to the Bivitech screen? You'll see here um, that we have a sequence of rubber blocks which we can adjust to make it uh, more or less aggressive. So, for example, uh, let's say at seasonal times of the year, your material may change with moisture. So this is uh, very easy to adjust. Uh, it's only a matter of adding or removing uh, rubber blocks. The, um, in the screen box, uh, where we have the mats, you will notice that we have an, an ox horn design, um, which it means that we cannot uh, it means that we cannot get blinding in the corners. But I will uh, illustrate it on another slide shortly. Uh, just to give you an idea, it's uh, not just it's not just L, uh, loss of ignition. Is, a, is an issue with the thrombal fines. We uh, cover a, a whole range of uh, commodities um, from quarrying, minerals, recycling, biomass. Um, I can give you numerous examples. We have references uh, in many countries all over the world, um, screening ores, coal aggregates, recycling products, a, re a, a real range from fine material right down to from powder, uh, as I said, to uh, really difficult clay-bound um, material. The screen mats, uh, this ox horn design which you can see around the side, so it's, it's instead of at 90 degrees, uh, it's bowed around the corner which prevents uh, any blinding. We don't have any uh, nuts or bolts in the screen because this would just hold back material. The, the mats, uh, I brought a few examples to show you, which you can have a look at later. But the mats are, are fitted with a, a, a rubber wedge, and uh, these are extremely easy to, uh, to insert or remove should you need to change the mats. But the lifetime, uh, depending on your material, one of our most abrasive applications is glass. Um, but even in this application, screening down to approximately four or five millimeter, we get well in excess of 2,000 hours uh, on the initial set of mats. Um, depending on the material, which may have uh, certain chemicals, uh, we use uh, different uh, gradations, different quality of polyurethane mats. Um, if you'd like to have a look uh, later, we can show you. Um, just to give you an idea of the efficiency, our, our lowest cut point 
is uh, 63 microns. So we use we have a mat we have a mat that we use an 80 80 mesh uh, to recover this product. So it's like really really fine. You would think that this is not able to to recover. It's so fine. So that gives you an idea of the our efficiency of the our screen. We offer a solution uh, to all customers from uh, a few grams per hour up to a thousand tons per hour. So basically anything from 1.5 square meters to 42 square meters. We offer single deck screens uh, up to four deck screens. So everything uh, is completely tailor-made uh, to the client. We um, have now uh, recently developed the screen once again onto a mobile unit. So not only do we have static semi-mobile, we also have a fully tracked mobile machine um, which can be made to your spec. So it's the same concept of the screen box uh, mounted on a mobile chassis unit. And we've chosen to work with McCluskey International uh, for the main reason of their, uh, their product quality, their customer support, and uh, I'll show you their distribution network in a, in a moment. But uh, we have supplied many units all over the world, um, which I think UKTI was uh, very interested in terms of our uh, global coverage. You can see here um, from the east to the, the west uh, hemisphere, we have coverage, uh, global coverage with uh, customer support and backup centers um, in nearly every, nearly every country in the world. So folks, um, that really is um, all I have to say on, uh, on, the, on the screen. Uh, you can see that we, we cover a, quite a, a wide range. <laughs>